In actual fact, global climate change began thousands of years ago when humans removed most of the large herding herbivores from the grasslands and savannas of the world. With the new learning in holistic management, it has helped us to appreciate the tool of animal impact. If you take overgrazing, which is very critical to understand, the belief of range science, the belief of the world, is that overgrazing is due to too many animals. Now, 50 years ago, this was discovered to be untrue. Good, solid science by a Frenchman. And we now know that it's a function of time, time of exposure of the plant and re-exposure, and not a function of animal numbers. Their hoof effect will uh, open up the ground, and uh, um, at the same time, their dunking and urinating will fertilize the ground, so that when the rains come, there we are with their dung that has got already some seeds, we are there and uh, slowly and slowly we achieve ground cover and therefore a better water cycle. The key thing is, is the soil surface, whether you're looking at solar energy flow or nutrient cycle or water cycle or biological community dynamics. If you can keep the soil covered, it tends to be forgiving and, and come right. One of the things that we are doing as the Africa Center is, uh, let's say it is one field that needs to be fertilized. Instead of transporting manure from the crawl to the field, we would encourage the communities to bring all their livestock together uh, in that particular field for one night. And uh, in the morning, there we go. There's been maximum animal impact and the field is fertilized. And we have done that uh, with one field and compared its yield to other fields and the difference was just astronomical. With the holistic framework, anybody in the household or at government level, any level of life, can begin relatively easily to make decisions that are socially, environmentally, and economically sound, short and long term. I'm really hopeful that as we get more results that are more apparent for everyone to see on the ground, it is going to help not only Zimbabwe, but the rest of the world.